You ever just have a moment in time where you're just thinking back to an old game you've played before? Say, like, 15 or so years ago when you were a kid, and just, like, actually getting into a true series of video games? Yeah, that's basically what we're about to do here, isn't it? Hi! I'm Billy12510. In this game, it's very ancient, but look at these cuttings! Look at it, they're Pokemon! Look at that cool beam of dark energy that actually never gets used in this game. It looked cool. Anyway. Yes, we get the Pomp and Circumstance Pokemon. It's Pokemon Ruby version! Someone's going to have a question for me. Yeah, we're gonna LP Pokemon Ruby now. God, it has been... It has been admittedly way too fucking long since I have played this game. Let's... There we go. I love these setups. So... We'll talk about this once we get in. Let's just start a new game. Hi! Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. Oh god, get it away. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon as times as friendly playmates and times as competitive. Oh my god, I can't speak. We're already two minutes in. Cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But to spot our closest, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. I swear, we've been studying these things since 1996 and we still don't know anything about them. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? Uh, yeah, I'm a boy. And it could be Landon, or Terry, or Seth, or Tom. Or... How about I be my name instead? Ah, okay. You're Billy, who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in Pokemon Lab. Yeah. Like all good adventures, it begins. In the back of a moving truck. Billy, we're here, honey. Must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is a new- Oh my god, I- I- I'm incensed right now. I am, like, super incensed. Just the way the spacing is from the edge of the text box on the left. F please remind myself to zoom in on editing. Like, this is just incredibly irritating to me and me alone. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, you know, that's that's exactly the fucking thing I look for in a home. Do I get to have my own room in it? All right. Look at the look at the look at these moving macho sprites. Look at them go. I'm going- I'm going to get in your way and cause you nothing but hardship and pain, Mod Choke. You deserve this. Alright. Let's go up these stairs to apparently the only other room in the building. Alright. Uh... Yeah. Free potion. 
back in the era where they did this because we had limited bag inventory space. Let's go. Wait. Oh, uh, clocks. It is. We're going the wrong way. All right. Okay, because it is. Should be 9.50 a.m. God setting fucking analog clock. <laughs> oh, Billy, quick, quickly. Look, it's Petalberg Jim. Maybe Dad will be on. Wait, we have a dad? We brought you this report from in front of Petalberg Jim. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. That's too bad. Hey, yeah, one, one of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. You know, like a normal person. You know? Like, not an introverted son of a bitch like yours truly. Ah, oh, man, I love this. Hello, just random... I don't even know what the hell you are. I believe you're like a child, but like... Whatever. God, so... I remember, like, when this game first came out and I got my Game Boy Advance. And my mom, I think, saw this... Saw these games at Target? And she asked me which one I wanted, and I said I wanted Ruby version. And that's the one I got. And I played it faithfully for years. Never beating it until, like, probably, like, six or so years ago. Actually, it's probably more than that. I don't think I've, like, legitimately touched the touched Ruby version in a decade. I know I've played Emerald more recently than this, and, like, everyone does, but I have, like, more of an attachment to Ruby than I do with Emerald. So that's why I picked this one. And everyone always picks Emerald, but, like, eh. I just wanted to play this one instead. You're Billy, our new next-door neighbor. Hi. We have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter is excited about making a new friend. Uh, what, what do you mean you think they're upstairs? You're her mom. You should know that. Come on. Hello, stranger. Pokemon fully restored. Items ready, and huh? Who are you? Because I guess just random 10-year-olds broke into your house. You're, you're fucked, man. Uh, maybe, and like, specifically, uh, I think, I think it'd be called Brandon, the male protagonist of each other, was to play as May instead. It's just, it's called Brandon in this game, and they change it to Orlando in the Gen 6 remix for some stupid reason. I don't know. There's like, these are like the first rivals that you could not change their name. Yeah, they did, they did just actually stop allowing you to change the name of your rivals. Well, kind of starting in Gen 5. They, they brought it back for... They brought it back for Black 2, White 2, but then they stopped again after that. I don't know why. It's like it's not like these games were were ever voice acted or anything. I think so like Anyway they're shouting from down here. It's a pooch Hello, you over there, please help! In my bag there's a Pokemon. Nah later, old man. Where are you going? Don't leave me like this. Oh fine. Alright, so we get to pick a Pokemon. We have uh, do you like this thing? We have... We have the lad. The Torchic. And... Pokemon I'm actually gonna use. I drink out. Oh, man. I'm actually kind of... Legitimately lukewarm. On, like, all the Hoenn starters. And we're, like... I like Torchic the most because fire type. But, like, even then, I'm, like, not... I'm not too big into any of these. 
Like, all, all of them are good, and all of them are kind of unique in their own way. Hey, because Torchic is really fast, has good attacks and special attacks. They're all good. Actually, all these Pokemon are just really good fighters. Let's just go with Trico. Hi, Poochiana. So, let's take a look at the Trico. So, Gen 3 was the first Pokemon game to introduce a few new things. Uh, the biggest one here on the screen is abilities. Every Pokemon now has an ability that all does a certain thing, whether in battle or outside of battle. Oh. They get shared between certain Pokemon, like... Trico's ability became just like the standard ability to give to every Grass-type starter. Overgrow. When Trico's HP goes into the red, it gains bonus damage to all of its Grass-type moves. Trico is a mostly special attack focused Pokemon and incredibly fast, although I think that might have more to do with its nature than anything else. Because natures were a thing that were also introduced. Natures change... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Like some natures will have impacts on your stat. That's like some will boost speed while lowering defense or things like that. I actually don't know if there's a nature that does that. There probably is, because there's like so many of them. Wait, uh just gonna fight this thing. Let's go pound it. Pokemon is turn-based, rock, paper, scissors style RPG where animals fight each other to death. I'm actually pretty sure I remember this, like, if you just stalled this fight long enough, the Poochiana would just run away from you. You don't actually have to fight it. It's kind of weird. I was in tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me, thanks a lot. Oh, hi, you're Billy. This is not the place to chat, so come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? Okay, screw Harry, ma'am. So, really, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. But, Anne, you sure You sure about that? Because you look pretty good with that Trico. You have a father's blood in your... No, I have my own blood. Fuck, I'm not... I'm not a vampire. I didn't drink his blood and add it to my own. What the hell? And where we get to keep whatever Pokemon we were given. Alright. Uh, let's go with this. People are gonna... Let's just name you Gex. That's a... That's a reference. I'm just scro I am just scrolling through this. My mind's on autopilot. Hey, let's go. Find 103, 103. And fight purchase kid. Alright. So let me talk about Trico a bit more. Trico is cooler in this game than future installments of him. And the reason why I say this is solely because the way moves work in this game. So. Let me just go over stats to like help accentuate this point. HP is how much damage a Pokemon can take before it faints. Attack and defense are the stats taken into account when dealing damage with a physical move or taking damage from one. Special attack and special defense are the same for moves designated as special, and speed if your Pokemon has a higher speed than your opponent, you move first. Simple as that. Certain moves uh, make exceptions to this, but running doesn't run into those. Pound? So... This was the... Well, Gen Free did a lot of things to advance the Pokemon formula. It... Still, we are still in the 
part of the franchise where a move whose type determined whether or not it was a physical attack or a special attack. You can like ignore this description for, for trying to determine that. Uh, and I have to remember which or which again. <laughs> I believe that physical attacks are normal, rock, flying, fighting, bug, steel, rock, ground. And special moves are fire, water, grass, electric, psychic, dragon. I know I missed one. Fire, water, grass, electric, dragon, psychic, dark. And I miss and I'm and I missed ghost type and poison type for physical moves as well, so. Is this really a 10 7 spread? I don't know. Oh god. I always screw this up. I can't wait to get to Gen 4 and I don't have to remember the stuff off the top of my head. Probably should have wrote it down, but I, like I legitimately only had the thought to do this like two days ago. Oh boy, Pokemon, Wurmple, you're fucking weird. We don't have access to Pokeball, so we can't catch new Pokemon and add them to our team. So I'm not going to talk about them that much. At least till we get access to them. Then I'll go into more details about them, although I think we might just run into every Pokemon that's on this- Yeah, we will now. Thanks, Sigs again. <laughs> Goodbye, Sigs again. Hey! Gex leveled up! When Pokemon gets enough experience, they level up, RPG mechanics, and sometimes they learn new moves. So now Gex has access to Absorb, which is a move that deals damage, and half of that damage that you dealt gets... Yeah. Pokemon that uses Absorb heals back up for half the damage they deal with that move. I'm in Old Ale Town. Hi, I work at a Pokemon Mart. Can I get you to come with me? Uh, you're not giving me a choice. This is a Mart. Just look for a blue roof. So a variety of goods, including Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. But ignore that, we don't have them right now, so take this potion instead. So a potion, you use it on a Pokemon and they restore 20 HP. Yeah, what's this way? Wait, please don't come in here! I just discovered the footprints of a rare Pokemon! Wait until I finish sketching them, okay? Ah, uh, you, you, you just ass clown. I'll talk about you in like a minute or two. Oh boy, Route 103! This is the route that has May on it, so let's see if we can find her, or we could just be accosted by raccoons again! <laughs> These, these early fights are like simple enough. Hey, look, it's it's the kid with the bandana again. Let's see, the Pokemon found the runner free include. Oh, you're gonna tell us? Damn it! You gonna made my job easier. Oh, hi, Billy. Oh, I see. My dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Well, I'm gonna fight you now. Okay. Pokemon Trainer May would like the- Oh my god, the trumpets. I forgot how much I like the music in this game. 
So May slash Brandon will have whatever starter has a type advantage against your starter. So in my case, she's using Torchic. Torchic is kind of like Trico, in this, but it's more physically oriented than specially oriented. Why? Why did my emulator not get focused there? That's just going to cause all hella problems. I'm gonna use Leer. It's the one move I haven't used yet, and like just try to lower Torchic's defense because, uh. Torchic will resist Absorb because it's a Fire-type Pokémon, so I'm just going to try to pound it for massive damage. And there we go. Probably could have two-shotted it if I leered a third time, but eh, it's whatever. Ah, 69 experience! Nice! Look at- look at Gex grow! He's doing better than his video game franchise ever did. <laughs> I think I know what my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, it already likes you. I don't know how you jumped to that conclusion, but sure. Might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon. Let's not get carried away. Oh god, I still have I still have non flashbacks trying to make Umbreon in my my first LP ever. <laughs> Let's just go home. Billy, over here. Let's hurry home. Don't worry. Soon we will get the the single greatest contribution to the Pokemon franchise this game ever made. Oh, fuck you, fat man. How dare you just straight up block my path. How could you do this? I can't believe that. Just how absolutely rude. Extensive history as a trainer. She had one Pokemon and lost to a straight up greenhorn. Nap, nope, she's she's a really experienced Pokemon trainer. You've done an amazing thing this day. And she fought, there was like literally no challenge at all, old man. Anyway, Pokedex is kind of cool. I really used to be into like just filling out Pokedex entries as a kid and like nowadays I really just don't care unless it's like a brand new game. Well actually I think I only really cared for Sword and Shield. I don't think I did that much in the Sun and Moon. I just went out. Ah, uh, well, that's a lie. We didn't get a Pokeball, we got five. So hey, now we can go catch Pokemon.